2.23, booyah baby. Morning friends. Bit of a hectic start to our 10K morning. Um, fell asleep in James's room, which means that my phone was not charging, which also means my alarms were not set. My good alarm was not near me. Wonderfully, Sarah woke me up, which was crazy because like yesterday she didn't wake up at all from the alarms and I did. And then today I didn't have the alarm set, but she got up, got, got up, got me up. Um, so had a little kerfuffle of running around making sure I got out on time. Phone isn't as charged as I'd like it to be, but hey, we're happy, we're healthy, we're here, we're ready to run a 10K. Um, gonna make my way to security and find Ben and Carolyn, and then just enjoy this morning. It's a little cool, about five degrees cool or warmer than yesterday, but I have my mylar from yesterday if I need it. And uh, I'm excited for more characters today for a good race. All right, we got Maribel. Carolyn, Jumped tight all day, every day. Hi, hi, hi. 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 What a queue. What a long queue. What is this? Yeah, it's a long queue. Oh, it's got stuck. Nice. What do we got here? Amazing. Chefs, love it. All right, marker mile two. So I started in Sea Corral. You can see how long these queues get. We got Pinocchio and Jiminy. Adorable, love it. Okay, we're nearing the last section of like boring road. Look at it's a beast. I have to go up this on ramp. We go east a little bit. I'm coming to the back side of the studios and it's home turf advantage. Studios, Crescent Lake, Upcat. All right, mile three. Just under halfway. Let's go have some fun. All right, coming in the studios. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Too long of a line for me. Ah, oh, it's like baking Chip and Dale. Look at that. Love it. All right, do a little heartbeat reset. And go see Fantastic. Here's the question. Oh, I think I already know. I don't think Christmas is set up yet. I was wrong. Christmas is set up. Christmas is here. Woohoo! All right, mile four. Let's head to Crescent Lake. Head up some boardwalk fun. All right. Still long lines, but I have to check out the main mice themselves. Make him mini. Looking cute. And now, come on. This is when the real fun begins. Boardwalk and the World Showcase. Woo -woo! What do we got here? Hey! Coming out a few months early, I suppose, but we love to see our main man, Dopey. Look at that. Look at that. Lines are getting shorter. Still passing though. Got a fa race to finish. Here we go. Mile six. Let's finish strong. Felt really good during the race. So I'm not gonna lie, a bit of a shock to be back in C. Not because of C, but because of the beginning of the race experience I had. There was just so many clumps of people that I couldn't even run for the first like quarter of a mile. Like I literally was basically walking to the point where I was like, I'm done with this. And I 
did the risky move of just like hopping out of the grass and I ran literally two whole miles in the grass. Um, so I definitely need to get a proof of time to get back to like at least be corral. I ran that unofficial time of 101.28. I think 101 is a cutoff, so I'm gonna be pretty bummed if I'm 28 um, seconds away from proof of time. And I definitely know there was probably a solid, like at least 70 seconds of like wasted time and space in that race, just like dodging crowd, like dodging groups of people who um, were walking and walking like five abreast, like next to each other. So, um, hey, different strategies. I got to get into the corrals earlier than I'm used to now that I'm back in sea corral. So. It was still a phenomenal race. Lots of good characters. I liked that the, the sun from Meet the Robinsons was out. Um, I didn't stop for anybody because the, the queues were just too big by the time I got through them. Um, but really good weather, really good race, really good spectating. and um, Just 10K is a good distance for Run Disney if you're ever thinking about doing it. There's more pump to it. There's more you see. And I got to see Hollywood Studios Christmas. I'm going to go spectate some finishers and cheer people on because that's also half the fun. Alright, we are at the boardwalk. We're going to go to the ACS team. Yeah, you can jump over. You want me to hold your hand? We're going to walk around it. James doesn't want to go over the crate. He's scared of falling in it. Common intrusive thoughts of humans. Um, it's the team brunch at Seabreeze Point. Sarah's the committee member. She's going to help set up and hang out with the kids. We're going to eat some food and then rest. Because apparently I'm going to try to race tomorrow. Welcome, sweetheart. Everyone in this room has a story, and in that story, we have our best, which is cancer. Our last set of heroes are Rob and Jen from Team Eat My Dixie. Wait a minute, it's the end of the 10K vlog. Why am I back in my running stuff? And why am I at Disney Resort? Because my buddy Steve from Tampa is here by himself and Sarah and I came up with a strategy where I'm just gonna come crash in his Little Mermaid room so Sarah can sleep in a little bit with the boys and meet us at the finish line um, because the route doesn't really allow for spectators anywhere else. So I just arrived, say hello to Ursula and I'm gonna go to Steve's room and drink my Morton's drink and get ready for bed. Early start. And yes, I'm not even wearing my shoes. Man, I should go swimming. A little relaxation before hand. What up, Brooklyn? Ready to run a half marathon? Yes. Thanks for saving our arm. Stretch over here. And we'll, look at the layout. He's got the fit out already. Oh, awesome. What kicks are we going with? Uh, I'm going to run with these. Nice. 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 Yeah, got some extra stuff for you, man. Thanks, man. Some bagels, some honey stingers. Brought way too much. It's a New Yorker for you. That's right. Are you playing with Duplos? <laughs> This has been all the rage at our house lately. If this is not what tired <laughs> looks like, I don't know what does. Um, I'm home with the boys. Peter said he gave a little bit of an update. Um, and so James is asleep upstairs and I'm about to put Teddy to bed. I don't know what time we're leaving. Um, because we've been low on sleep, I kind of want to like give us grace in that sense, but also be like diligent in getting over to the race. So a little bit of both tonight or tomorrow rather. Um, it's 8.45 though and all the good, all the good sleep vibes would be appreciated. I know this is going to be tomorrow, but I can still, I'll still put it out there.
It is good to be home. Love a race weekend. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>